printers are sweeping the nation. And nowadays, people are printing everything from jewelry to houses. So until you get your own, companies like Dupe3D can help you bring this technology to life. Okay, Michael, I didn't bring any of my toner cartridges, but we're doing some printing today, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. Here at Dupe3D, we 3D print replicas of you. Talk me through that. Basically, you're going to step into our 3D scanner. We call it the duplicator. The duplicator. And then we're going to create the 3D file and 3D print it at our production center in Brooklyn. Just what I always wanted, an action figure of moi. This futuristic photo booth has 54 cameras that snap shots of its subjects from all angles and turns those images into an avatar, which is the blueprint for our figurine. In three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Okay. So with my snapshot set, we go behind the scenes to Do3D's production facility where the magic really happens. That's an awkward thing, you know, just walk by and see these bodies lie across nails. The final step is letting them dry. And as I get suited up, my miniature me prints up. How's that? It's good. I feel like I should get some gas, though, you know what I mean? Like, woo! The printers at Dupe3D work by alternately laying down thin and precise layers of powder and color, thousands of times. And while the powder fully blankets the printing surface, the color is printed in specific spots, binding with the powder when they meet. So Kevin's actually working on extracting some of the figures right now, and he'll be able to walk you through the process. I don't know, Michael. That doesn't look terribly accurate. <laughs> well, the figures are actually inside of the block of powder right now. They're inside. inside. Right, right in there. So we can start vacuuming, and then you'll start seeing your figure start to expose itself. Amazing. The best part of 3D printing is there's no waste. The leftover powder is recycled right back into the system. Wow. So messed up my face, Kevin. <laughs> I need this bad boy to look good. <laughs> oh, those are my legs. <laughs> so we are actually ready to pull you out. I'm almost alive. Whoa. Wow. And there I am, a little pale, but a diamond in the rough. So what's the next step? The next step, step is cleaning the figure. So we're going to get all of that powder off it. Got to dust her off, honey. This is so nuts. OK. I think I'm ready. So Luke's going to prep the figure for the next stage. Hold me, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll get you all ready to go. How else is 3D printing impacting the world? Well, we actually started in the medical space where we were scanning patients and then 3D printing prosthetics, making every single product unique. We're going from mass production to mass customization. And this mass customization is defining the next industrial revolution, where consumers are buying products specifically designed for their needs, since today's 3D printers can handle materials ranging from titanium to cartilage. It's pretty cool. What's the next process here? We're going to dip you in a solution that will harden your figure and also allow all these colors to really pop out. This solution not only petrifies the powder, which is why we remove the excess, it also turns the powder clear. Woo! And you can just shake it off right here. Shake it off. I've done that before. <laughs> we quickly let me dry, and I'm ready to rock. Here you go. Wow. I mean, this is crazy. Surreal, man. The detail is amazing. You can see how I folded my belt, little creases in my top. And I mean, to think today I was in the duplicator, right? Getting a snap. And now this is here, like an actual live figurine of myself. Yeah, it really is a different experience when you see yourself in 3D for the first time. It's like the future. All right, I'm going to box myself up and take myself home. <laughs> <laughs> 